Hey folks, I'm Matt Cox, creative director for Tiny Tina's Wonderlands. We're so excited to share more of our game with you, so let's roll. One magical rainbow bridge from my family to yours. Right now, we're looking at the overworld. It's a tabletop inspired zone full of quests, dungeons, random encounters, and tons of secrets to explore. The revolution is nigh. Join the goblins hired of first depression to help us fight the power and regain our freedom. GTFO, GTFO, GTFO. I, what the hell? I thought we'd agree to do like a chanting thing, but no one's, uh, screw it. Ah, oh, the long oppressed goblins of Mokra. Head there now if you would ease their suffering. sure I couldn't fight my way out of a wet paper bag. I mean, both for goblin freedom and for money. Oh, there'll be coin in it for you. But first, we must shatter the chains of oppression, fight for glorious goblin freedom, and rebuke the tyranny of dragon god Vodkanar. A dragon god? Fascinating. Don't worry, I'm almost nearly mostly totally sure he's a false god. Now come along, it's time to free my goblin brothers and sisters! The brave few who clamored for freedom have been exiled from the mountain by Varkanar. He is a cruel master, demanding tribute from our enslaved people once a week. If he is displeased by the offering, his punishment is harsh. We must put a stop to it once and for all! And with your help... of time we're going to jump ahead to show you later parts of the game. The Fate Makers have helped rally goblins to Jar's cause and must now free some prisoners from this scenic lakeside prison. There it is. Are you ready? We need to free the GTFO prisoners, but be careful. The troll jailers are tough as gobnails. I'll, uh, I'll join you in a second. Uh, fight on, champion! I 
the worst, isn't it? Natural. Sunshine. Fresh air. It makes me sick that they subject goblins to such horrible conditions. Gonna get somewhere dark and damn quick. To survive the Wonderlands, you'll need a good balance of damage types and weapons to take down tougher foes. Generally speaking, the higher the gear number, the more powerful it is. But if you want to maximize your power, paying attention to the stats on your gear and how they interact with other gear or your class is where the true power begins. Between armor, amulets, rings, wards, spells, melee weapons, and guns, there are tons of ways to customize your build. Finding and equipping more powerful loot of all types is essential to building out your character. Be sure to keep an eye out for those upgrades. A big part of your playstyle is decided by your class and how you choose to invest skill points as you level up. After an early plot moment, you can respect these points at any time and even select a second class later in the game to multi-class. You also have hero points, which award specific bonuses further refining your playstyle. Here we are. Now, the means of production are also the engines of oppression. So go bust them up! I'm gonna go secure our route by dropping the bridge. We'll meet up there. Skipping ahead now, we've destroyed the means of production, and Jars dropped the bridge for us and we are ready to charge ahead. Now we have to split up again. I need you to track down some demolition goblins that work for Vork and I. Steal the plastics they use to open up new mining tunnels. We'll need them for the fight against Varkana. While you do that, I'm gonna track down the lair of Ice King Frizacles, who dwells under the mountain. We'll need the power of his icy heart to quench the fires of the Great Oven. The Great Oven is where the trolls smelt the ore mined by the enslaved goblins. If you can take it out, we'll disrupt their primary source of revenue and weapon range.
shall burn no more.
As Tina said, you'll find these lucky dice hidden all around the Wonderlands, giving you a chance for rare loot and permanently increasing your loot luck stat, which affects how often high-end gear drops.
Your valor is to be commended. But I fear all I have to give you is this nose ring. Here. What? Really? This would be a truly mighty nose ring, but none of this would have been possible without you. I think you deserve this more than me. On behalf of Goblin Kind, I must thank you, Champion. We will forever be in your debt. Now, if you'll excuse me, I must inform the GTFO leadership of our victory. There is much to do. We hope you enjoyed this early look at Tiny Tina's Wonderlands. Be sure to visit PlayWonderlands.com to learn more about the game ahead of its release on March 25th.